KSW 46, live, only on pay-per-view. Because overall, the 37-year-old has lost just once in his last 34 fights. Those are the numbers. Thomas Narkoon versus Mamed Khalidov in this catchweight super fight, pitching champion against champion. Chris, what a main event and what a matchup. It's an amazing fight between two of the very best ever to put on the gloves in KSW. Well, this is going to either go into a painful war of attrition or it's going to be over in the blink of an eye. Our referee, Mr. Piotr Machalak. Thomas Narku fighting with the blue straps. Mamed Karlidov fighting with the red. Narkoon has the height advantage and the weight advantage. But these are two deadly fighters. And Narkoon will want to try and finish this quickly. And the evasive skills of Karlidov, just legendary. But Narkoon knows how to track and whack and nail his opponent. Masterful work there from Karlidov to actually spin away from the fence, get back to space. He's trying to pull Narkoon in a little bit too close. Watch out for that right hand. I like the push kick so far from Narkoon. He's got to use that reach. Well, Narkoon now standing off just a little bit here, a little bit respectful. Good hands, left, right there from Khalidov. Low kick, Khalidov nearly gets caught there. Narkoon just settling down into the pace here. And Khalidov doing a good job of defending the kicks, although the last one landed heavily. Has to make up the distance, Khalidov to get inside Narkoon, but already Narkoon, the adrenaline, forcing him to blow just a little bit. Kalidov knocks him down with a big right hand. It's a knockdown! Kalidov goes inside to finish it off here. Can he pass guard? Can he get rid of the legs of Narkoon? Narkoon was hurt. Down he went to the mat, and Kalidov just steps away. And a big right hand! It's a knockdown! Mohamed Kalidov here, landing those punches in the ground and pound. Thomas Narkoon went down like a sack of potatoes and he was as over as Disco. Narkoon recovers, spoiling Khalidov in that close guard position. Chris, this is where it gets down and dirty. Khalidov did a great job there of dipping his head and he's so deceptive the way he closes distance. Comes right over the top of the guard, punching down, tons of inertia. Tons of power, dropping Narkoon double time. Well, that was a code brown moment there for Narkoon. He survived. I have to say he's a champion. That's what champions do. But Khalidov has just got the measure of this so right. And this could be an early shower for all concerned here. From his nose to his toes, he rocked Narkoon, rocked and socked him. Down goes the hammer fist again in that close guard position. Khalidov has got to be careful here, though. Narkoon has an amazing guard. He does not want to hang out, Will. Well, if you're faint-hearted, switch off, because this is action-packed. Khalidov, the right eye, starting to show and glow red. How Thomas Narkoon has survived this onslaught is unbelievable. Khalidov now might have to start psychologically psyching himself up to think what's he got to do to put Narkoon away. It goes to the upright. After those incredible right-hand shots that sent Narkoon to the mat, we are back with two minutes left in the first round of this champion versus champion super fight. This is a game of timing and inches. Kalinov, nice kick catch, good forward pressure, but I think he's got to be smart here. Why hang out in the close guard like he did earlier of Narkoon? That's one of his specialties. Narkoon is so good off his back, a legit BJJ black belt. Kalidov no doubt knows this, right? So he's going to want this one up on the feet. So it goes back to the upright. Oh, big right hand swing there from Narkoon. But we saw that one coming. Just under a minute and a half left. and. That's your ticket money right there in the first round. This is just actually ram-packed with action. Khalidov leads with that left hand, sails through Main Street. You see a reverse spinning back kick as the psychological antics of Khalidov. He is the master, the magician at work here. But I have to say, he's starting to blow a little bit. Narkoon, how many years is junior? Yeah, Narkoon 
almost 10 years, nine years to be exact. So I like the snap kicks from Raccoon, the way he's kind of flicking up the ball of his foot into the midsection of Kalidov. That's not only a good distance management technique, but that can sap the cardio as well. So he's got to make it work for him right now. Don't be a stationary target. Don't keep your head in a position to get lit up. Now we're seeing a little bit of blood from the nose of Khalidov, and he gets caught with a big right hand there from Narkun. Narkun making a comeback here, almost Lazarus-like. At one stage, we thought this was all over, but uh, the pace has settled down. We're just under half a minute left in this first round. Spinning back fist from Khalidov. This is going to be one of those legendary bouts. And this is vintage Mamed Khalidov right now. Real explosive, dynamic entries. Narkun, you know, a little bit gun shy, but he's standing there. He's willing to trade. I think that's the young heart of a lion right there that we've seen him throughout his career. What an incredible comeback from Thomas Narkun. And a smile through the cage there. He's happy to survive that. And uh, Mamed Khalidov, a little look across just to see what's going on. Narkun on the stool, but uh, Khalidov has a little nick on the bridge of his nose. And uh, that's just a little bit of battle damage. Chris, how's this unfolding for you, just looking at the tail of the tape here? Well, the big thing was that right hand. And Kalidov is so good. That's the same shot he caught Materla with before he went in for the flying knee. He's done this multiple times in his career. That's one of his specialties. And he kind of dips his head and catches you coming in in a straight line. It's a beautiful intercepting shot. Or he'll come in and close the distance. Even when your guard's up, you just don't really have a good feel for how quick he can be to get in there. Narcoon. I mean, Mamed Karladov is the CEO of destruction. That right hand, that's banned in 50 states. That's such a shot, you know? I mean, really, he rocked and socked Narcoon. How did he come back from that, Narcoon? That was Lazarus-like. I mean, you know, Nothing short of a miracle has put Narkoon into the second round. And Narkoon can't wait to get back to business. This is a really tough office. And uh, we start the second round now with a touch of gloves. But uh, make no mistake, this is serious, serious business. And Narkoon is back. Look for Khalidov to get right back to early uh, tactics that we saw in the first. He's going to dance around a little bit and then look for the boxing. Or wait for Narkun to kick and then come in. Well, we knew this was going to be exciting, but this bout is like riding a wild Mustang with wasabi up its rear end. This is a bucking bronco that is just not going to stop. This is the legendary match that keeps on giving. Narkun, you know, I want a sample of that guy's blood because you're going to live forever. This is just incredible, the comeback. And look at the champ working. You can see it's like a computer at a Honeywell cloud center, whirring away, storing all that experience and bringing it out here. Well, a little bit of an injury there to the eye of Narkun accidentally done it gives everybody a chance to reset have a little breather Chris how do you think this is going to pan out I like the kicking game of Narkun and he's got an awesome stand-up game at kicking distance so I'd love to see him continue to work the legs chop low use that snap kick make good use of the teep as well he needs to continue to be a threat and stick and move the problem is when he lets Khalidov get comfortable loosen up Khalidov is so gifted at finding headspace and timing. So I couldn't quite tell whether or not Khalidov had an open extended hand with the fingers sticking out. He's going to get a warning here irregardless, but both fighters look okay. The action will resume. Well, clock back on. Champion versus champion. This is a catchweight competition and an exchange of kicks. And Khalidov replying. Narkun has a great kicking game and he's starting to worry. The lead left leg of Khalidov. We see the axe kick come up. It's not often you see that. Little switch and then a throw of the right hand. And I have to say at this stage, Mamed Khalidov is starting to blow a little bit. But he is the master, the master of rope -a dope He will throw you folly and faint and suck you in. And with Khalidov, it's very much 
come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. And guess who's knocking at the front door? That's Thomas Naku. Good shot to the body. Part of the strategy for Narku may have been to try to get Khalidov to wear himself out. He's weathered the early storm thus far, but he's got to get back to the kicks. And for me, I think he's just a bit tentative and obviously dealing with some of the threats that Khalidov poses. Khalidov, the master of mind games, the psychological professor. Just look at the sharpness of that right hand. That's not a fighter that's tired. He really is. Sucking in, sucking in Thomas Naku. And they were trading right hands right there, so Khalidov actually slipped outside, loaded up the right cross, and tried to slip Narkoon's right. So that's a game he's happy to play in. That was one of the big questions for me coming into this, was who would have the speed advantage, because Narkoon is so athletic. He's not a big 205-er, but Khalidov looks really as quick as we've seen him in years. Absolutely, and it just leads me to think that that's a rope-a-dope that we're seeing here. What we're seeing here is Khalidov feigning that he's tired to lull Narkun into a false sense of security. But uh, they are both champions, and they are both worthy champions. And uh, Khalidov now goes back to basics. Left hand with a right hand finish. Narkun trying to nail down what is a will-o'-the-wisp. Where is he? They seek him here, they seek him there. Thomas Narkun seeks Mamed Khalidov everywhere, but he cannot nail that man down. Khalidov's kind of had to play a little bit like a matador, right? So when he starts to run out of space with his back up against the edge of the ring, that's when he's going to reset and try to use that lateral footwork. Narkun knows this, and he's trying to anticipate that right now. So. so under a minute left in this second round, it's scheduled for three. And really, you have to pay tribute to the KSW organization. They pitch their best fighters against each other. I don't know any other organization that does that. They are really beasting each other out here. And this is not the only bout here tonight. High kick goes up, and Khalidov reads it, ducks under. That's not a man that's tired. We go into the last 30 seconds of this second round. Mamid Khalidov taking on light heavyweight champ Thomas Narko. And uh, Narkun not happy, and Khalidov says, well, what's the problem? But uh, once a fighter starts to complain, that's always a sign to me that uh, it's a little bit of frustration. Khalidov, look at the escapology. He is like Houdini. Down he takes Narkun. Narkun comes up with that heel kick. We're still in dangerous territory. It was incredible to see Khalidov retreating, right? And then use that front leg side kick while moving backwards. The guy just really has the ring craft dialed in here tonight. Gets caught there with the right hand from Narkun, but it's the end of the round. And Khalidov had a look there that said to me, what have I got to do to put this man away? Because Khalidov has hit him upside his head a few good times. Narkun, well, he's starting to feel a bit battle weary now at this stage, I would suspect. I mean, he's been knocked down twice in the first round and made a comeback. Some swelling under the left eye, and uh, whatever's going on in the corner of the current KSW middleweight champion, Mohamed Khalidov, well, we can only imagine. Now, under the new scoring criteria, we're going to be seeing more liberal 10-8 rounds, so maybe somebody scored that 10-8 in the first for Khalidov. I still had Khalidov taking this one 10-9. On my scorecard, he's up no matter what the case. There we go, we saw that infraction there. Narkun not happy. And there, the old school stuff, Will, that axe kick. We saw that in the Mankovsky fight. Trading right hands, Khalidov with the outside slip to the right. And there, that front leg side kick. I mean, the axe kick, almost a tribute to the late great Andy Hug. May he rest in peace. Oos! And I love to see those old school strikes. You know, it's such a hybrid MMA. There's so much evolving coming through. New techniques that weren't even in the old school book. But now we're seeing the old school stuff come back. Third and final round. This catchweight super fight. Champion versus champion. You can see the love and respect. Thomas Narkun, the light heavyweight champ, takes on KSW's middleweight champion, Mamed Khalidov. Well, there's no love lost in the ring here, and both fighters want the win, but what an absolutely heroic show from each man of respect and true warrior spirit. Chris, 
This is going to cruise its way out unless somebody's down. Solid jab there. One, two from Narkoon. Flying knee. Kalidov might be in a little bit of trouble here, Will. Well, he seems under pressure. Cannot get away and starting to take the shot. A left hand and a right hand. Narkoon looking to finish this. Cannot, uh, Mohamed Kalidov cannot get out of the way of those knee strikes. Can Narkoon finish this? This is pure survival now we're seeing from Kalidov. But he stands and trades. Left, right, straight through Main Street. Starts to really come back here. Mohamed Kalidov takes his man down. Goes into open guard. And Narkoon now is the one that's under pressure. Spectacular. Narkoon throwing up the triangle. He's going to look to hit that submission, Will. This oh, looks this in. The submission is done out! Thomas Narkoon has tapped out Mohamed Khalidov! He's taken the win here at KSW 42. It was an armbar, and that's the submission! Mohamed Khalidov in all kinds of trouble here. He opened himself up, and that was the mistake responding. That was an unbelievable finish there. We said it earlier in the fight, Kalidov had to be careful with the guard of Narkoon. He is an amazing jiu-jitsu fighter. KSW 46, live, only on pay-per-view.